Hi everyone, my name is Tim Roughgarden, and I want to welcome you to this video lecture series on the foundations of blockchains. So in this lecture, in lecture number one of the series, I want to do two things. Uh, so first of all, in this video and the next video, I want to give you a sense of what to expect uh, from all of these lectures. So how the course is going to be organized, the intended audience, and so on. The second thing I want to do in the third and fourth videos of lecture one uh, is do some of the setup that we're going to need in order to discuss consensus protocols in earnest beginning in lecture number two. So without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, who are these lectures for? Who should be watching these videos? Well, you know, I, I put them all up on YouTube for free for a reason, which was so that anybody who wants to watch these videos was, was free to do so. Um, that said, you know, I still think it's probably helpful for you to understand, you know, when I write these lectures, who do I have in mind as a sort of canonical viewer? And so I'm thinking primarily of, of someone who probably has some type of computer science training, uh, possibly kind of formally through a university degree program, or possibly, you know, mostly self-taught and just sort of picked up uh, from working in the trenches. Either way is totally fine. So what do I mean by sort of some computer science training? Well, for example, I'd expect a, a typical viewer to be somewhat comfortable with programming, not necessarily in blockchain specific programming languages, but, you know, maybe just some general purpose languages like, say, Python, Java, etc. Uh, ideally, you have the level of mathematical maturity that you're sort of forced to acquire when you study computer science. For example, if you want to uh, understand, you know, how and why various algorithms work. That said, if you hate math or if you're feeling sort of very shaky uh, on, on the math, um, the parts, the videos which are on mathematical proofs, uh, you should be able to skip without much loss of continuity. Finally, there's certain sort of recurring concepts that come up over and over again in, in computer science. And, you know, and if you study it, you tend to start thinking in a certain way. Uh, so, for example, thinking in terms of abstractions. So, for example, you might have some functionality that you care about and then you separate the functionality you're exporting to the outside world versus the details of how you actually implement that functionality. The ideas of modularity and composability. So the idea that, for example, different objects or different functions uh, can call on each other in complicated ways. Uh, and also just kind of specific tools that come up over and over again, like, you know, maybe you've come across hash functions uh, in some context in the past. So that's the type of canonical viewer that I have in mind. But, you know, if you don't fit this profile, don't worry about it. If you want to watch these videos, watch these videos. If I've done my job properly, anyone sort of enthusiastic about blockchains uh, and wants to understand them at a deep level uh, should find watching these videos a good use of their time. Now, if I had to summarize kind of the main focus of this lecture series in, in just one sentence, I'd say our focus is going to be on the science and technology of blockchain protocols, as well as some of the applications that are built on top of them. And it's worth emphasizing what these lectures are not about. Uh, so there's going to be basically no hype in these lectures. OK, maybe like a couple minutes in this video, but that'll be it. Uh, so I'm going to assume that, you know, by virtue of you watching this video, rather than the million other things you could be doing with your time, uh, I'm going to be assuming that you're already excited about the potential of blockchain technologies and that you're ready to put in the time and effort to understand them uh, in some depth. We're also not going to be talking about investment. There will be no financial advice in, these, in this lecture series. Uh, we won't be talking about whether the price of Bitcoin is going to go up or down in the future. Totally not the point of what we're going to be discussing. Uh, we're not going to talk about entrepreneurship, you know, starting blockchain startups and that sort of thing. Um, and while we will learn a fair amount about how certain blockchain protocols like Bitcoin and Ethereum, uh, how they work, uh, we're going to stop short of sort of really nitty gritty engineering details. Like we'll never, you know, for example, um, examine line by line some smart contract. Okay? We will not get down to that level uh, of detail. That would just be outside the scope of this lecture series. Rather, our focus will be on fundamental principles, both in terms of blockchain design and in terms of the analysis of properties of blockchain protocols, or at least such as they are at the time of this recording in late 2021. Uh, it's very early days in blockchains and not least in terms of our academic understanding of blockchains. But what we do know, I will tell you a fair amount about uh, in this lecture series. And my goal here is to equip you with a collection of tools and concepts that will uh, allow you to, you know, first of all, look at blockchain technologies and, and applications as they exist today and to intelligently evaluate and compare them to really cut through all of the marketing crap that you see everywhere and have a sort of educated assessment of the pros and cons of the different existing technologies. 
Secondly, I want you to understand that there are fundamental trade-offs in solving problems like, for example, consensus. Right? There's no perfect solution. There's no silver bullet. Any working system is going to have to make some compromises. And I want you to be able to understand today's technologies in terms of choosing different points uh, on a trade-off curve. And finally, you know, I'm really hoping you know, it would really be awesome if the tools and concepts uh, you learned from this lecture series help you build something new and exciting in the upcoming years. As I said, it's super early days uh, with blockchains and our understanding of their power and limitations. There's certainly a lot of high impact work that needs to be done over the next decade. Maybe this lecture series will give you a little edge in pulling that off. So let me conclude this video just with, with a few comments before we move on to talking about um, how the material is going to be organized. And this is maybe the, the couple minutes of hype uh, that I promised you earlier in the video. I think it's really good to be cognizant that, that I believe right now we're in a very particular moment in time. And actually that future generations of programmers and computer scientists and entrepreneurs will be jealous that you were where you are when you are. Specifically, you know, I believe that we're witnessing the emergence of a fundamentally new area of computer science. Blockchains, of course, draw on uh, well understood uh, parts of computer science, for example, cryptography uh, and distributed systems. It also draws on well understood theories from outside computer science, you know, for example, game theory and finance. Um, but the interdisciplinary synthesis plus the sort of extra sort of ideas that people are coming up with in my view, really signal that we're watching a fundamentally new area of science and engineering come into being. And future generations of students, programmers, you know, entrepreneurs, etc., they will be very jealous when you tell them that you were learning this stuff, uh, really that you got to get in on the ground floor. I really believe it's sort of like getting into the internet and in the, in the World Wide Web in, in the early 1990s. That's what a moment in time it feels like right now. And in fact, I really can't overstate the opportunities that would be available to anybody who masters the material that I'm going to talk about uh, in this lecture series. Uh, the current demand for this kind of expertise is much, much bigger than the current supply. Maybe a sort of tangential goal uh, of this lecture series is, is perhaps it can serve as a partial corrective for the, what I think is the very misleading and misguided coverage of blockchain technologies you often see uh, in mainstream media and elsewhere. I mean, oddly, just lots of people's vision of blockchain seems just kind of stuck in 2013, like really overly focused on Bitcoin, overly focused on the use case of payments, you know, haunted by the specter of Silk Road, you know, focused on the environmental impacts. All of that stuff was super relevant when Bitcoin was the only game in town back in 2013. But that is no longer the case. And it'll be even less the case uh, as we move forward through this coming decade, through the 2020s. And I'm continually stunned by sort of how many people, including, frankly, you know, a ton of computer science academics, seem to have sort of utterly failed to grok the modern vision for where blockchains are going. Like the point is not just Bitcoin and payments. The point is really to invent the next generation of the Internet and the web and hey, maybe other stuff as well. As a final comment, you know, even though maybe this is self-evident, I mean, this lecture series is really not optimized for the person who wants a sort of quick and dirty, superficial understanding of some aspect of blockchains. And I, I say superficial without judgment, because believe me, there are like a zillion topics where I just watch a 10 minute YouTube video and then call it a day. I'm happy with that sort of limited understanding. Now, I, I've chopped each of the lectures into reasonably bite-sized pieces, you know, videos of, of manageable length. And so if you want to interact with the playlist just by kind of poking around, watching a little bit here, a little bit there, you know, that's fine. I encourage you to do that. Um, but just be aware that, you know, I, I really think this video lecture series, it's, it's, it's hopefully optimal for the subset of you uh, that are already kind of willing and excited to spend a number of hours digging deep, thinking hard, learning some tough material, but in exchange being rewarded with a depth of understanding that few others have. All right, so that sort of wraps up, you know, where I'm coming from and, you know, the themes you should expect from this course. Now let's move to the next video where I'll tell you in more detail how all of the material is going to be organized throughout the video playlist.